What's up guys, Neon Raccoon Gaming here. Today I'm going to show you how I made that soul portal that I posted on TikTok. So anyway, let's get right into it. First you're going to want to get Blackstone from your inventory. It's in building blocks, just go all the way down and you'll find it. So first you're going to want to build your broken portal. And this is how this is how I usually build it, but you can do whatever you want. Next, you're going to want to get all three types of stone brick and just kind of place it around the portal like this. And we're actually, we're going to place our altars first. So, like that. So this looks pretty good, right? Um, now we're just going to replace some of this with cracked stone and mossy stone. Okay, so now that the building is done, it is time to make our redstone room. So, here we go. I'm going to dig out an area that looks like this. Then another one. And then do the same thing on the other side. Okay, so now that we have our redstone area, what we're going to do is slash give at s command block. And now we are going to place a command block on top of each one of these. But before we do anything, we are going to want to add a few things to the room. Going to get any type of block, doesn't really matter. Um, just put them like that, then get redstone torch, put it like that on each one. So you're going to want to make sure you have everything labeled. One, two, three, four, five, six. And just so we don't forget, and we're probably still going to need the sign, we're just going to um, place an anvil so we can name it. We're going to do slash execute, if block, press tab for the coordinates, lantern, run, fill. We're going to do control middle click, and we're going to name the command block, just command block 1. And we are going to keep doing this just for all the command blocks. So we are just going to do three at a time so things don't get too complicated because I already know for a lot of people command blocks are really hard to do. So we're just going to label these things. So now I'm going to place command block one there. We're going to do fill coordinates. 
air. We can get rid of this. Copy that. And change it to always active and repeating. And now we're going to do the same thing for this. Run slash fill the coordinates. Air. Copy that command block. Paste, place it here. At always active and repeating. So now we have the first three done. We're going to go back and do this next three. Okay, so now we have the next three. We're going to go place them down over here. Always active and repeating. Copy it. Place it there. Okay, so so now those command blocks will make it whenever we place the lantern on the altars by the portal, those redstone torches will activate. So now now we can start doing stuff. We're gonna do the same thing. Place command blocks, except we're just going to do fill, coordinates, soul lantern. <laughs> Name it just so we don't forget. So now we can go place these. We're going to place command block 1 here. Actually, here, this side. Command block 2 and command block 3. And we're going to place the redstone torches under. So now when we place a lantern on the altars, they should turn into a soul lantern. Yep. Perfect. So we're just going to do that same exact thing, but for the other three. And now we are placing our command blocks down for the other three. Okay. So now that we have all those command blocks working, we're going to do another command block. This one will be slash play sound. And if you just scroll down a little bit, you don't even need to type anything. You're going to see ambient soul sand valley dot mood. 
click on that. And um, just so you know, if you're like, if you set a, if you set this to ambient and your ambient volume is all the way off in your volume settings, you will not hear it. So you're gonna do you're gonna do any option as long as it's on in your volume settings. I usually just choose ambient because it's first, then all players, then your coordinates, then a hundred two. And we're going to copy this command block, middle click, or control middle click, and we're going to place it on all of these. Next thing we're going to do is we can do slash particle soul fire flame. and copy that and place it on all of these. So you're gonna wanna press F3. So you have all the coordinates of the block you're looking at and it's in like the, it's on the right in the middle of the screen. So you're gonna wanna type in whatever that is. So once you have that typed in, you're gonna do zero, 10, zero, zero, a hundred. I'm gonna copy that. Name it command block one. And continue doing this. And the coordinates will be different every time so you can't, yeah. So we have our first three, I'm going to place them down. We can just get rid of them now. We're going to go back and do the other three. And we now have the other three, which we're going to place. And we can get rid of these now. So this is what you should have so far. The next thing we're going to want to do is I personally use ancient, I like to use ancient debris because it, I, I don't know, I guess it, I just like the way it looks more for doing stuff like this. But what we're going to do is we're going to place a redstone block right where I think we're going to want to do right here. Then we're going to do, we're going to make six. We're going to do six of these. But we're going to place the redstone in between. But not on the um, ancient debris. And make sure you place the redstone block there too. So we are going to place command blocks on top of each one of these. So for this, you can just... It doesn't matter where you put the command block after it's copied, like you could put this one in any of these. So we're going to do slash fill coordinates. Redstone wire. Copy that. And we're just going to do the same thing for all these. So what you do, click on it, 
fill coordinates redstone wire copy it place it down Okay, now there's just a few more things that we have to do. We're going to do the same thing, place the command blocks on the altars, except for this one's much easier. You still need to name them, but it doesn't matter, or you don't need to name them, you just need to memorize them, but it's very quick. Slash summon, lightning bolt, tab, press tab three times, get the coordinates, then you're you done. Copy it. Because this one's pretty easy, we're just going to do all of them. Now we can go place these in. So we're going to place them down now. Okay. Now there's just a few more steps. One of them would be actually turning the broken portal into a working portal. So what we're going to do is get a command block, we're going to do slash fill, but get the fir only get the first three coordinates, control middle click, copy it, place it on the other corner, then do the last three, then blackstone. Copy it. Then, we're gonna, so we're going to name this Blackstone, just so we know. Then we're going to, on the inside, we're going to do slash fill, get the first three coordinates. Hit done, copy it, place it back down. Last three coordinates, nether portal. There's a chance that the nether portal might be facing the wrong way, so if that happens, no worries, just do square bracket, then change the axis, and you're good. So we're going to name this one portal. back in our redstone room so the first thing we're gonna get a redstone repeater and place it right there put the blackstone command block first then right after that we're gonna put the portal one on the other side of the repeater then the other thing you're gonna do you're gonna find the one that does the particles so if you copy it exactly, it'll be the top. And you're just going to copy every single one of them. You're going to place them down. It doesn't it doesn't matter where you place them. Just make sure you do every single one of them. Then you're going to do the same thing for the lightning bolts. Just copy every single lightning bolt command block. Same thing. Place them down.
the last step is slash play sound block dot end portal spawn Then you're going to want to place redstone wire over all these command blocks. We are about to test it. Just get everything out of our hotbar. Get out the lantern. You can break these signs now. Just to make things look a little bit cooler, I'm going to put on a shader pack. Ready to be tested. And there you go. Yeah, that's it. Um, anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, this one took me a long time to make. Also, uh, most people that watch the videos aren't subscribed to my channel. So, if you currently are not subscribed, um, I would appreciate if you considered subscribing but um yeah i hope you enjoyed the video